This is why I love the internet. Some guy posted PDF files for the IS-300, like repair manuals and stuff, just on uh, my IS forums. Unreal, dude. Everything's here. All right, so today, I'm gonna be throwing on the oil pump, gonna be putting on the new seal, and then installing the form and place gasket RTV stuff from Toyota, according to the manual. So here's the old oil pump. Some people might say, hey man, how come you didn't get a OEM Toyota oil pump? Um, uh, they, they just crossed out the Toyota stuff. All right, seems to me that Asen makes the uh, OEM oil pumps. So what I'm doing here, prying off the old oil seal, Gonna use that for the installation of the new one. Tried with that socket and that definitely not a mini sledge. That wasn't working. So I eventually just got a small hammer. Tapped around the outside of that old oil seal to press that new one in. Periodically checking on the circumference. Make sure it's fully flush and in as far as it can. So according to the manual, you want to seal with the 2D3 millimeters, and then that's the path that you're going to take. So whenever it comes to the actual, there's little channels, the pressure in return. So it wants you to form a seal just like that, like, in, like you see in A. And that would be just on the outside of the hole. This. Oh, yeah. Now it's not necessarily needed to go around the entire hole because you have O-rings on your block. If you put gasket sealer on a rubber O-ring, there's the O-rings I was referencing to before. All right, got her all torqued up and installed. All right, let's 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 try something here. So I'm gonna try to drill pilot holes, put these through, chop off the end of this once it's in the seal, hand tighten that stuff on there. I'm gonna try to pull the seal off with these screws. See if that works. All right, I was successful in my attempts to pull it out with this makeshift little presser that I set up. I'm gonna clean this guy up, install the new seal. Make sure this is pure again and clean because it was on there. Install the gasket sealer the same thickness as before.
All right, moving on to the oil pan. Now I'm going to cap and drill it out for the return flange. All right, I started tapping the pan. Started out with a one quarter inch. And I stepped up to a 16, sorry, 17, 1764th. I'm tapping this M8 by 1.25. These studs that snag on the intake manifold. Okay, so I got the studs in, drilled and tapped out the holes. That was very interesting. Get the proper size drill bit first. That's all I'm gonna say. So. Good to go. Now we just need to waller out the hole right there. And yes, I'm going to use the step bit. I want to make sure I got as many drill bits out of the way before I start using this. So the oil pan is prepped, cleaned up. So all I did for this, because obviously this has never had fin and place gasket stuff on here because I'm going to be using a Toyota FIPG. So I just got a stick, a flat stick with some sandpaper, scuffed up real good, try to keep it as flat as possible, and just put some sandpaper on the table. I just uh, went back and forth to this guy in circles, try to surface prep as best as I can. And I'm going to place a bead around the circumference of that hole, a small bead, because you're not going to need much, two millimeter in diameter on a bead, because once it squishes on there, it's in all directions, really. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is how absolutely mammoth this pickup tube is. Putting the calipers on here, four and a half inches almost. The oiling on these 2Js is just unmatched. Let's check out on the inside of there. Alright, so now I'm going to start doing the four in place gasket stuff around the oil pan. Four to five millimeter, and that's going to be the size right here. Now the diagram that I do have is for the IS300. Kind of wants to follow wherever the little outshoot is, whether that be on the inside here. On the outside, that's where the bead will follow. This is an SC300 pan, so I'm just going to do the best that I can. The reason why I didn't go around this is because there's a little O-ring on the block itself. So here you see me getting down, making sure that O-ring is properly aligned. And I thought that I recorded myself installing a lower oil pan. I did not. Clean her up real good. Get your form and place gasket accordingly, 4 to 5 millimeters in width, torque it down, and your short block is assembled. So thanks for everything, guys. I appreciate the love. Please let me know if you find anything wrong with what I'm doing, and I appreciate any criticism.